first citizens acquire $72 billion. After a depositor run in a trust crisis, the FDIC acquired Silicon Valley Bridge Bank, formerly Silicon Valley Bank, two weeks ago. First citizens will invest $72 billion in the company. SVB fueled thousands of startups before its collapse. 17 Silicon Valley Bank branches will reopen as First Citizens Bank. According to a statement, the loss will cost the FDIC $20 billion. An exact figure will be given after the transaction and FDIC receivership. Because depositors and trust are low, negotiations have dragged on for weeks despite a lot of money at stake. The FDIC failed to market Silicon Valley Bridge Bank twice due to property changes. First Citizens is discounting $16.5 billion on $72 billion in savings and loans. Silicon Valley Bank was particularly vulnerable because its clients were rapidly expanding tech companies and venture capitalists who deposited tens of billions of dollars during funding cycles peaks but have since found it difficult to raise new capital and are rapidly depleting their savings. Silicon Valley's mismanagement has brought the banking industry and the Federal Reserve's regulation under closer scrutiny. Its demise marks a new era in finance, with many asking for a change in how lenders account for their assets in public filings. The Bank of England stated last week that it had told American regulators of rising risks at Silicon Valley Bank before its collapse. What are your views on this matter? Please share in the comments below. Thanks for watching.